This video was recorded with the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. Skip it up and that up. I'm back. <laughs> oh, I ran out of breath. Oh, GameStop, you're naughty and shitty and shady. We already knew all that, but anyway. So federal judge Robert Kugler has denied GameStop's motion to dismiss a class action lawsuit against them revolving around used game sales. So here is the skinny on what happened. Uh, I don't know what the hell that term means, but I'm going to use it anyway because it sounds good. GameStop has, to customers, has been trying to push off used games. Obviously, we all know that they push them hard. And what they were doing was they would tell GameStop employees would tell customers, oh, instead of buying that game new, new, buy it used. It's cheaper and you'll get all the DLC. It's like buying the new game. It turns out that was a crock of shit. The people will go home. They wouldn't get the codes for the DLC. They weren't included. And the game would actually end up if you bought all the DLC that GameStop actually promised came with the used copy would cost more than buying the game new. The plaintiffs in the case feel that GameStop committed fraud and that they should be held accountable. And you know what? I totally agree. Now, I have to say in not GameStop as a company as a whole, but I have to say the two stores by me, I've never really dealt with this. The employees at the two stores I go to that are local to me are great. They're honest guys. They're good guys. Yeah, they ask you about you know signing up for this and that, but that's their job. But they've never handed me, like, if the game is used, they let me know. If a game is new, they let me know. They've never tried to lowball me, except once, but it's a guy that no longer works there. I'll explain the story. So I used to have one of my 3,000 Xbox 360s that I took care of, and they all died on me. That's why I don't have one now. I refuse to spend any more money on the Xbox 360, but that's a story for another video. But anyway... So I go, I forgot what game it was, but I was going into GameStop and I wanted to buy a game. And the guy behind the counter is like, we only have one copy. It, we use the uh, case for the display, but it's still new. The disc has never been brought home. It's not used. I'm like, all right. So I, he gives me, he hands me the game. He takes out a little yellow CD holder, the, pla the paper CD case, and he puts it in the actual game case. And I'm just like, what the hell? Let me check the disc because Xbox 360 discs, because they're regular DVDs, they're just DVDs in general scratch easily by nature. So, you know, he tried to push the new copy on me or the, uh, with the display copy saying, eh, don't worry about going to another store, just take the display copy. I turned the disc around and it looks like someone chewed on it. And I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? You're going to make me spend... $60 on this game and it looks like, you know, you put it in a washer machine with razor blades, you know, and I said, look, man, I'm not taking this copy. I mean, he already rang me up. So he was kind of pissed off and, you know, he was annoyed. He had to like, you know, give me a return and do the whole thing with the register. But I'm like, dude, why didn't you take the extra three seconds to check the disc? That's, I mean, it's not really, that's like the worst thing I've ever dealt with, with GameStop. And it wasn't even that horrible, but I have heard a lot of stories of this happening. And honestly, here's what I have to say to that. GameStop, you're going to blow it. You are, because you're doing shady business practices, and I'm sure that the regional managers are telling people to do this, you're going to, the, every developer out there is looking for an excuse to attack the used game industry. Now, I'm a proponent of used games. I don't buy that many used games. I buy a lot of my games on Steam, and I, a lot of buy, I buy a lot of games new but I'm still a proponent of it. You know, games are expensive in this economy. It's tough to spend $60 on a game. But when you do shady shit like this, you're giving developers and publishers an excuse to come after you. And you're going to doing stuff like this. You're going to see, see what happens. See what happens with these games. People, companies commit fraud. We can't have used games. It's a great excuse. And this is, this is something that could ruin the used games industry. And it's like you're asking because you're looking to shave more profits and, you know, skim more off the top. You're going to this is what's going to happen. Is it worth it? Scam screwing people over. Is it worth it? You know, I know you make a killing off of used games anyway. You have to try to squeeze more money out of them by lying to them and tell them that it comes with all the DLC. That's kind of bullshit, man. I wonder what stores are doing this because, like I said, I've bought used games and they give you use the DLC codes on the receipt. So. Who's doing this? Like I said, the stores I work with are mainly ethical. So I'm kind of, 
surprised to hear this happen. You know, maybe my stores are an exception and most do 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 shady business practices like telling people to use games come with DLC and they don't, which is pretty screwed up. You're treading on dangerous waters, GameStop. You know, you're going to you're going to you're going to blow it. You're going to screw it for everybody including the consumer. We need used games because it makes gaming our hobby more affordable. And because you're trying to be greedy and get more profits, you're going to screw it up for everybody. But anyway, folks, I'm going to shut up now because I could talk about this for hours. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. Have a good one.